It wasn't long until the first ballot boxes arrived at Fenton Manor Sports Complex, which last night played host to an extraordinary political drama. And there were smiles all around as the two heavyweights in this race arrived at the count, not knowing who would leave the victor. And there was a totally unexpected guest. Rapper Professor Green made a surprise appearance. It's thought he's filming a documentary. It became pretty clear early on in the night from the smiles on Gareth Snell's face that Labour were confident they'd done enough to see off UKIP. The Labour MP for Stoke North was keen to show her support for her incoming colleague. Can't wait to start working with him to deliver for our city. And I'm delighted that I think truly the politics of hate and division have been beaten in our city. And that, we, that UKIP are not welcome and Mr Nuttall with his lies, lie after lie after lie over the last five weeks. They can now leave the country and I hope there's one thing he didn't lie about, leave the city, because there's one thing I hope he didn't lie about and that was promising us that if he lost he wouldn't come back to Stoke-on-Trent. With a clear result now emerging, Liberal Democrat candidate Dr Zulfika Ali had this to say. Uh, all nettles coming to Stoke-on-Trent Central has attracted quite a lot of uh, negativity for this city, um, but I'm glad he's not going to be Member of Parliament from this city. I, I'm very proud of my team, really. We put up this message very positively. We reached each and every voter. Uh, both uh, we campaigned against hard Brexit as well as uh, asked for more funding for NHS. Adam Colclough from the Greens wasn't feeling too down. In fact, he's ready to fight on. My real priority after this election is to get out there and start selling this city, start building connections with its community, and start promoting us for a really great place we are. We labour all too busy fighting between the Corbynites and the Blairites. We just we just a new party, we go out there and we say what we believe to be right because we want a fairer society. And then confirmation. Labour hold Stoke Central. Snell, Gareth, Labour Party, 7,800. We are a city of innovators and educators, artists and entrepreneurs. We pioneered the first industrial revolution and I believe we have the potential to lead the next one. This city will not allow ourselves to be defined by last year's referendum. And we will not allow ourselves to be divided by the result. Nor will we be divided by race, race or faith or creed. We will move forward together to tackle the problems that we face. To secure a brighter, more prosperous future for everyone. So, to those of you who came to Stoke on Trent to sow hatred and division and to turn us away from our friends and neighbours, I have one very simple message. You have failed. What followed was a typical election night scrum to get the man people thought just a couple of weeks ago had it in the bag. No, 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 no it's just guys, beginning. Thank you. Thank you. There were questions about his leadership, the party and his campaign. What about the lead by election? You were hoping to fight that at one point. You think half of the Hillsborough stuff, you can't really now, can you? Who knows where Paul Nuttall's career might be heading? Lewis Warner, Staffs Live.